Tom Hiddlestone is as charming as ever in the standalone series Loki. Let's talk about it. Hi, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about Loki. I'm doing an episode one and two review combined. No spoilers, at least I'll try to. To talk about the show, I didn't really have to write anything. Usually when I'm doing a review or something, I, I'll get my computer and I'll, and I'll write a script. But for Loki, I, I didn't really feel like I, I needed to because the show is refreshing in a way. There's nothing really outside of the Marvel ordinary on here. If you've seen the Falcon, the Winter Soldier and WandaVision, it kind of starts to um, follow that formula. Um, you are taken back to 2012 um, when Loki gets captured, and the Tesseract falls on his feet and he then grabs it and teleports his way out of there. And then from there, he just kind of develops on and you, you get to meet new characters. Uh, Owen Wilson is surprisingly great. Uh, he's not a very funny character per se, but his, his character matches his personality really well. And I thought that the chemistry between him and Hiddleston was great. They have a really good on camera um, chemistry. It, just, it really felt like a detective show almost sometimes. Uh, like a cop show, you know, a good cop, bad cop sort of thing, um, in which they are both good cop and bad cop. We see here a different side of Loki, especially when the show gets into some um, some part. We, he gets to kind of see, I don't think this is really too much of a spoiler, he gets to kind of see how some things um, develop. Um, and so it will show you scenes from previous movies, it will show you scenes from the Avengers movies, um, Endgame. So it shows some scenes to kind of give Loki background, give Loki some context of what everything is happening. And then in episode two, we find out um, what's more or less going on. Uh, the Time Variance uh, Academy, the Time Variance Association, I, don't, I can't remember the top of my head right now. Uh, but they are sort of um, responsible for keeping the timeline intact. So if something happens that's not supposed to happen, they go back and they fix it. And that's more or less what the show is based upon. Um, Loki was never meant to escape. Uh, and then, you know, I'm the god of mischief. I'm, I'm a god of blah, I do what I want. And they're like, yeah, 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 whatever. <laughs> you can keep believing what you want, buddy. Uh, but this is really what goes on. So they kind of do a little bit of time traveling. They go back in time and they go forward in time. Um, and you get to know here that they are looking um, for somebody that's been messing with the timeline um, and killing agents. I'm not gonna give too much more away because I want you to I want you to watch it and just not be spoiled. All in all, I think the Loki is a great addition. If if I had to compare One Division, Falcon the Winter Soldier, and Loki based on the first two episodes, uh, I have to say Loki's on par with the other two. I like Loki a little bit better, um, but it's not. The other two are not too far behind, and especially One Division. I love the way One Division started out, you know, with the sitcom style back in the day. Really weird, really cryptic. Um, Loki doesn't really do any of that. It's just kind of you just dive straight in into the story and, and what um, what might happen to these characters later on. The end, <laughs> the end game, the end game result here uh, to me, um, I think kind of see where they're going with this. I think I know what's going to happen, but then again, this is Loki. He is a god of mischief, so the writers could pull um, a 180 and just go a totally separate direction. But uh, based on what I've seen so far, I can kind of get an idea on how things are going to play out a little bit. I'd be lying if I told you, yeah, oh yeah, I know. I know what's going to happen. Uh, I don't. But... Um, based on my experience from watching Marvels, I've watched tons of Marvel stuff. I've watched everything so far. I, I think I know. 
where they're heading with this. What are your top three predictions for Loki? Leave it in the comment down below. Tell me, what do you think is gonna happen? That revelation on episode two of um, the person that they're investigating, what did you think? Did you expect that? I, I sort of didn't, to be honest. Um, but it kind of goes with some of the background story of Loki, especially uh, in the comics and due to recent announcements. Um, that's a hint that I'll give you. So if you haven't watched it yet, and that's more or less what's going on right now. Down below, there'll be two videos, my latest video and a playlist that I want you guys to check out. And I'm gonna put here my Marvel playlist, playlist because this is a Marvel show. Uh, I can't wait to see more. I, I, I think I'm gonna be doing from here on three, four, five independently, or I may just kind of mash them up and do two at a time because I think it's 10 episodes. So we'll see. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna do a reaction to the season finale of Loki. Uh, I'm trying not to do um, too many reactions. I don't oversaturate the channel with reactions because the primary, the primary point of this is to give you reviews. But I, I do enjoy the reactions quite a bit. Um, and I really I grew to like them, especially when I was watching Invincible. So enough of chit chat. Get to the Marvel playlist. There's plenty of content for you to watch and I'll catch you on the next one. See you later.